Our beautiful blue ball is home to a plethora of rare materials. Some are more commonly known, while others seem to have been ripped straight from the pages of sci-fi novels. It's important to note that rare materials are classified based on their presence on and in the continental crust, or on the difficulty of production. And here are 12 of the rarest materials that we know of on Earth. Number 12. Rhinoceros Horn Traditionally used in Chinese medicine, but because modern medicine has deemed it useless, the rhinoceros horn has become a status symbol of wealth and power. Made of hair and keratin, the same materials that make up human nails, the rhino horn is a little more valuable than your toenail clippings. But because of the rhino's fast approach to extinction and the unfaltering cruelty of the poachers and buyers alike, Poached rhino horns are sold for around £120 per gram on the black market. The near annihilation of a species just to feed the greed and egos of the elite. Number 11. Saffron. Many people are unaware that some spices are considered precious and can cost as much as the rarest of metals. Saffron is the pinnacle of said spices, costing as much as $500,000 per ounce. This sweet and bitter spice is famous in traditional Italian, French and Indian cuisine. Besides its what some would call intoxicating flavour, much like truffle is described, saffron is jam-packed with antioxidants and carotenoids. Interestingly enough, what makes this spice rare isn't the quantity grown on the earth, but how it's produced. Each flower only produces three to four thread-like stigmas. The part of the flower that becomes the saffron, and each is harvested, as it was in the ancient days, by hand. Number 10. Rhodium. This silvery white metal is cherished for its reflective and anti-corrosion properties, as well as being a chemically inert transition metal. Almost 85% of the rhodium produced is used as a catalyst in automobiles' three-way catalytic converter. The rest is divided between such products as light, mirrors, and jewellery. The price for rhodium is always in fluctuation, but is currently nesting in at around $1,750 per ounce. That's around $300 more than the price of gold, even in its current inflated state. Number 9. Osmium. Wearing the crown for the densest naturally occurring element, osmium is a blue and white and hard metal found within the platinum group. Another heavier crown it bears is that of the least abundant stable element within the Earth's crust. It has an even number on the periodic table which states, according to Otto Harkin's rule, it's more abundant in space than it is on Earth. It is mainly produced, however, from the wastes of nickel refining. Osmium is never used in its pure state due to its oxide's extreme volatility and toxicity and can be found in only a few products. Needles, instrument pivots, fountain pen tips and electrical contacts. Though nowhere near the worth of some other elements on the list, osmium falls in at around $400 per ounce. Far from cheap. Number 8. Plutonium. I'm sure you've heard its name dropped in a ridiculous amount of movies in which some cliché terrorist group has stolen a cache of it with the intent to build a bomb that the hero must miraculously defuse in the last three seconds of its timer. Partly true in that it is used in the creation of nuclear bombs, plutonium has a plethora of other, more beneficial uses, such as an energy source for spacecrafts and even as a power source for pacemakers one that reduces the risk of repeated surgical intrusion. Costing around $4,000 per gram, I can assure you, plutonium, besides its heavy radioactivity and heavy metal toxicity, it's not as easy to come by as the movies make it seem. Number 7. Tritium. Also known as Hydrogen 3, tritium, a gas, is a radioluminescent radioactive isotope. For general use, it is used in beta lights or self-powering lighting. That is found in gun sights, watch faces, street signs, and many other products that glow its recognizable neon hue. For not so general use, it is used in the creation of nuclear fission and nuclear weapons. Remember that next time you want to show off your glow-in-the-dark shirt. More environmentally conscious, 
Tritium can also be used to trace physical, biological and chemical paths along the ocean's currents. As a result, we have been able to learn their circulation and ventilation. Costing a whopping $30,000 per gram, it's safe to say this won't be a material sold at any of your local stores. Number 6. Diamond. The most famous of all, and infamous, without having to be said, diamonds are rare beauties to behold. Each their own little Mona Lisas, capturing and contorting light and expelling it back in wide and unique colour. Though the price ranges by the clarity rating, the average diamond is worth $55,000 per gram. Despite its popularity and impregnation into our society, due to the status it grants those who wear them, we have made large strides in the reduction of conflict-free sourcing. Blood diamond mining remains a current problem. Even one blood diamond is too many. Number 5. Painite. With only a few hundred of these stones in existence today, painite, until recently, was the world's rarest gemstone. Diamonds are common compared to the likes of this stone. First discovered in the 1950s by British mineralogist Arthur C. D. Payne, it wasn't until recently, shortly after 2005, that we had any more than 25 stones at any given time. For more than 50 years, the exotic reddish-orange beauty of a gemstone, costing nearly $60,000 per carat, eluded the grasp of all mankind. Even after the discovery of a new repository in Myanmar, painite remains one of the rarest gemstones in existence. Number 4. Red Diamonds Yes, they are diamonds, but most are unaware diamonds come in a variety of colours each rarer than the last. From least to rarest, the colours of diamonds are yellow, brown, colourless, blue, green, black, pink, orange, purple, and then red. Because red diamonds are so rare, the cost varies from stone to stone. The largest and most well-known red diamond is called the Musayef Red Diamond and is worth around $7 million. Number 3. Astatine Astatine is the rarest natural element on Earth. In its natural state, astatine has a half-life of 8 hours. So even if someone were to discover some and manage to spot it with their naked eye, half of it would be unusable at the day's end. It is named after the Greek word astatos, or unstable, for this very reason. So how does one use an element with such instability and short lifespan? Well. You create it, which is exactly what scientists do. To date, only 0.05 micrograms have ever been created. That is 0.0000005 grams. It is used primarily for medical purposes, cancer treatments, and as a radioactive tracer. Number 2. Californium. Named after the university in which it was first synthesized, Californium is a radioactive man-made element first discovered in 1950 by colliding curium with alpha particles in a particle accelerator, or a byproduct within nuclear reactors. Costing nearly $30 million per gram, yes, you heard it right, Californium it remains one of the most expensive elements on the planet due to the difficulty of making it and the quantity produced. Number 1. Antimatter. Theorized to be the fuel for future spacecrafts that can traverse the stars, yes, Star Trek was right. Antimatter is the single most expensive material on Earth. Costing nearly $25 million to produce a milligram of positrons, that's 62.5 trillion per gram, antimatter is still a sci-fi story amount of time away from being produced on a level required for space travel. As out of reach financially, the production of antimatter is, it is fraction smaller when compared to labor required. If we were to try and produce antimatter today, with the pinnacle of technology at our disposal, it would still take the equivalent of the entire human race working for an entire year without delay to produce a single gram. What do you think? Have we come close to discovering all resources in Earth's crust and the vastness of space? Or have we just begun to delve into the potential our mysterious world and universe has to offer? 
Drop us a line below and let us know what you think.